Hi, Clayton. My name is Mike. I live uh, just south of Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, my wife and I have owned our first home um, for almost 10 years now. Um, and over that 10 years, we've uh, built up uh, equity along with housing values going up, obviously. Um, we have uh, equity of about $140,000 uh, right now. And we are seriously considering entering the, the rental property uh, game. Um, I stumbled upon your videos by searching on how to use home equity to get into rental properties. Um, and uh, thought I would just ask you directly instead of uh, trying to watch more and more videos. Um, so what is our first step? Thanks. Well, uh, thank you, Mike. Thank you for reaching out directly. I love an action taker, by the way. He's like, you know what? I, I could watch more videos and I, and I will, but I'm just going to ask him. So thank you. And I will try to answer the question. So uh, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't, and financial advisors are, you know, they make money off of you investing in the stock market. So, you know, but you got to say that that's how crazy the United States is. Right. Um, so I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you where to put your money. What I would tell you though, again, is if I had $140,000 in equity and available home equity line of credit that I could use, I absolutely would. So the first step I want to know is it sounds like you have that equity, but I don't know if I heard you correctly that you've already established a home equity line of credit yet. I didn't, maybe I missed that. If you did, I apologize, but that would be my first step is working with a local bank. I would prefer a local bank as we write about in our book. Uh, Natalie and I have a best-selling book on Amazon called How to Pay Off Your Mortgage in Five Years or Less. And one of the things we talk about is the local banks are always going to be your better friend because they know the neighborhood better than those national banks. So I would start there, talk with them about getting a home equity line of credit on your property that you currently live in. And again, I prefer the home equity line of credit versus a cash out or a sort of um, uh, the uh, the big lump sum payment that you get from a uh, a refinancing or other thing because then your the the clock starts the moment they write you that check. So if you're going to do a refinance or something like that, you know they're going to give you a cash out refinance. They're going to give you a check, and now that clock starts, and now you've got a lump sum payment. That's great. You've got one hundred and forty thousand dollars in cash, but you're also paying interest on that right away. So I prefer a home equity line of credit because it's a revolving line of credit and I can use it for 10 years or, or, or even longer uh, to use it, rinse and repeat and buy multiple properties. So again, Mike, I always go from the frame of reference of our properties that we build at Morris Invest. You know, we build about 500 homes per year and our minimum down payment with our team is going to be about forty to $50,000 minimum down payment. Okay. New construction, brand new construction. And, you know, our prices are, we have single families and duplexes, okay? So when I hear that number in my head, to me, that's like three rental properties right there, like $140,000 in equity that I could leverage and buy three brand new construction properties in the best school districts, in the number one landlord-friendly state in the country that's cash flowing from day one with a full service team that would take care of you. So that's my little sort of sales pitch for what we do, but that's kind of how I hear it. When I hear that I've got, just what, like my wife and I, when I know that we have that much capital that we're sitting on, I always want to deploy it. I always, I don't want cash. I do not want to be sitting on capital. I want that money in performing assets as a tax vehicle. So Mike, whether you work with us or you go out and renovate a property yourself and or buy raw land and build a property from the ground up yourself and you do all of that, great. But get that out, you know, use that equity. You cannot eat equity. So take that money and put it, deploy it and put it into rental real estate investing. I, I would say, and if you heard my disclaimer at the beginning of the show when I'm talking about the market, I mean, literally the front page, just now looking on Drudge, end of market super bubble, literally just po posted moments ago as we are seeing Good luck because we are about to see a super bubble collapse. Uh, that's what we're watching right now as these stocks, the S&P 500, he sees a 45% retracement. I mean, we are seeing a plunge right now overall, and that's going to continue. So if I can put my money in actual performing assets that are a tax haven right now, given the volatility in the market as the Federal Reserve begins to pull back and taper and pull all of this money away from Wall Street, you know, we are going to see a bloodbath on Wall Street, and I don't want to be anywhere near it. I also don't want to be sitting uh, with my money tied to the stock market or other other areas that are going to get hit 
other sort of collateral damage. So I would absolutely want to have my money in rental real estate investing. That's my, uh, that's my take on it, Mike. Um, but uh, I hope that was helpful. Get a home equity line of credit first. Um, thinking about how I can deploy that in picking up certain performing assets almost immediately and putting that as a, uh, uh, my other suggestion, I guess, Mike, would be don't blow it all on a full, per, in my opinion. Okay, again, this is my opinion. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. I would want that money to go as far as I could. So to me, I would just want to be using that towards down payments. Um, you know, oftentimes we'll have clients that will want to, that will want to work with us and buy a property outright for cash. And that's great. But what we try to talk to them about is, hey, wouldn't it make more sense for you to use the bank's money for the rest and finance the rest? That way your money, that home equity line of credit can go further. You can get three properties instead of just buying one. And then you get that cash flow, the tax benefits of owning multiple properties instead of one. So again, I, that's, that's my advice on this, Mike. I hope you found this helpful. Um, I'm just thinking off the cuff here based on the market conditions today literally as we're watching this breaking news unfolding in the markets, Mike. So um, that's that, that's where my mind is right now is, is on real estate investing. It's a safe investment, uh, maybe the ultimate hedge against this craziness that we're, that we're about to see. So thank you, Mike, for that question. So if you guys have any questions you would like answered here on the show, when you go to morrisinvest.com, there's a little microphone tab right there on the front page of our website. You can see all the great information we have on the site, but to click on the microphone button and leave us a voicemail message, try to keep it to 30 seconds or less. That way we can, uh, you know, keep them timely, keep them punchy. No one likes a long winded voicemail, right? And uh, we will attempt to answer it here on the show. Now go out there, take action and become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time, everyone.